We saw the future of ChatGPT this week in two places. One was an internal OpenAI document that was never really supposed to be made public, but it's an exhibit in Google's antitrust trial. And the other one was a fireside chat at a big tech summit this week where Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, talked about where ChatGPT is going. And these things were both quite revealing because the first one's an internal strategy document and the second one is Sam Altman speaking. And it's always worth listening when he does because he's unusually open for a tech CEO. So let's start with this exhibit. It's a PDF. I've put a link in the description of this video. And it's an open AI strategy document that just talks about the aspiration for ChatGPT. And it uses this phrase, super assistant. And this super assistant will be one that knows you, understands what you care about, and helps with any task that a smart, trustworthy, emotionally intelligent person with a computer could do. Now, thinking about that in light of that mysterious hardware device that OpenAI are building with legendary Apple designer Johnny Ive, we saw that teaser video last week, it's all sounding a lot like what's depicted in the movie Her. And then in this fireside chat at the Snowflake Summit this week, Sam was asked some quite probing questions on stage and he made a couple of really interesting points that have made me think more deeply about this. One is a great point that a lot of us think of ChatGPT as being great because it's very knowledgeable and its knowledge is its value because it's trained on the whole internet, right? But he points out that's the wrong way to assess it. Using a language model as a knowledge database anyway, he says is ridiculous, slow and expensive. The true power lies in AI's reasoning engine and we're pretty much there with models like O3, these frontier models models, they can reason incredibly well, but the only thing that's stopping it from becoming this super assistant is having access to all the context it needs, like your information, your data, your tools, your content, your computer. And as Sam acknowledged in that hardware teaser video with Johnny Ive last week, we have the intelligence built, but the way of getting to it and making it useful just isn't there because you have to take your phone out of your pocket and do a load of tapping around and it's just really quite clunky and it's not got direct access to all of your stuff, so it just can't work on your behalf. But this ever-present super assistant and that's when it will become a truly life-changing piece of technology for most people. He also made another really interesting point about AGI, artificial general intelligence, which is the idea that the computer becomes truly intelligent. And actually, there is no test for whether that's occurred and the goalposts are always moving anyway. And actually, if you went back to 2020 and showed someone today's version of ChatGPT, most people would say, that looks a lot like AGI. So yes, there won't be this one day where we just wake up and it's like, oh, we've got AGI. Whatever we've got today, we just get used to really quickly. We take it for granted really quickly. But the big pivot point is clearly when it gets access to all your stuff and your computer, and then we'll truly be able to work and do things on your behalf.